So what the heck is Tana? It's being talked about so much and touted as the new Rome, and a lot of people are flocking from apps like Obsidian, Rome, Logseek, and even Notion. Today, we're going to give you an overview of what Tana is, what it does, and as much information as we know about it right now. So if you're new here, welcome to Keep Productive. Do subscribe if you fancy diving into different applications, and if you're interested in Tana, after this video, we are expecting to have some user guides and tools coming soon from those who are actually inactively using it. So let's start with some of the pretty bold statements that Tana are making on their website. The Everything OS, on a mission to reinvent how humans, teams, and computers work together and get ready to cancel half of your software subscriptions. This application is really bold in the community right now. And I was speaking to one of the project managers there, Robert Heisfield, who's come on the channel before to do some fantastic roam in depth stuff. And he said, Yeah, there's loads of people flocking from all of the different experiences. And he's stating that Tana bridges the gap between. Rome style graph outliners and notion style structured data. And to be honest, this one was a hard for me to get my head round. I was expecting an obsidian like alternative, but it does have that Romy obsidian feel combining it with the structure that Notion typically go with with their databases. And I think that's why it's getting a lot of attention because the marriage between the ability to capture stuff as a traditional PKM tool with some of Notion's faster, more in-depth abilities with the databases is something a lot of people are looking for. So I've dived into a couple of features that they've actually I guess stand out inside of the experience. And the first of those is super tags. Now super tags apparently easily turns raw notes into tasks, bugs, follows ups and more. And there's no more context switching, copy and pasting and ad hoc spreadsheets and docs. Now, very simply from watching the tutorial videos, super tags seem to be a way to turn any of your nodes but these are essentially just bullet points inside of your account that can be expanded, that they can turn into these super tags and you can use templates with them. So for example, if I was typing in a person's name, I could turn that into a super tag that correlates to that person, then they get their own database, if that makes sense. It's hard to get your head round, but to be honest, after a little bit of time, it became easier to understand. They do have the traditional graph feature that allows you to leave all of your files and pro folders behind according to Tana, where you can see everything and how they connect together. Typical to what we see in other applications. And they also state that you can do more with the data flow side of stuff. I watched one of their videos that talked about how you can actually use the abilities to reorganize what you'd like to focus on in a day. And it combined a little bit of databases with the ability to use filters at the top of the page. So I would say that this application probably going to take a lot more time to learn. Something that Robert Heisfield did say to me was that they have open sourced the import tools to make it easier for people to migrate from certain tools. So they seem to be getting a lot of Notion users, a lot of Rome imports, and also user-led initiatives on Obsidian and Logseek imports are also underway. Now, they said a lot of people are using Obsidian with the data view and they're finding things way easier inside of Tana. So expected a lot of sort of people who are into Notion and Airtable will find their way to Tana. Now, to be honest, this application is interesting. They're touting it as a collaborative knowledge graph and for you and your team. So I really want to see how this progresses in the next couple of months, especially in particular watching how people are using it as part of their daily routine. But the pricing side of stuff, they're stating that your data will be available as read only and can be exported if you cancel your subscription. But they also intend in the future to bring in a freemium combined with free trial subscriptions, as well as free subscription for students, which is something that PKM tools typically do. Now, as you can imagine, they've got a 45 free day free trial if you pass and get into their early access after that free trial it's ten dollars per month 
or $100 per year. So they're pricing themselves pretty reasonably well in the market. Now, a couple of people with things that, a couple of statements that people have made are, we use Tana for planning our work, planning our meetings, and keeping track of what we know and need to know, writing guides, processes, and much more. And it does seem from some of the sort of statements that people are making, some of the videos that I watched, that they're combining the databases of Notion with the PKM abilities of Obsidian, Rome, and some of the others. So I'm really Really eager to see how this expands. It's really strange actually. One of the things I was most shocked with is how many people are actually switching over to this application or at least thoroughly interested in it. I thought that tools like Obsidian, LogSeq and Roam were tools that you probably stick with for a long time just because of the nature of notes and naturally notes are quite difficult to move but they're also I guess it's a new learning curve to learn something like Tana and um, it's very interesting to say the least. Now before we go I wanted to show you what my first experience of watching some of the tutorials were like. I filmed myself live and my little brain that isn't into PKM tools really could not understand it all and it did take me some time. So have a laugh at this but if you fancied subscribing to us, please do check us out and I will see you in a future video. Thank you very much folks. Talk to you all soon. An app and start plan to do today. I start by first checking my outstanding to do's and then I select the tasks I need to get done that day. I run the command remind me today and this will create a link to these items in my today node. After that, I check my calendar and create nodes for the meetings that I want to take meeting notes on later that day. Then I write up anything else that I need to get done. I do this by writing something like review and at and search for the node that I'm looking for to make an inline mention of that and then turn it into a task by simply pressing command enter. <laughs> this helps me that. keep track of what I did when, oh, but it also allows me to have a shortcut to it.